Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And in China news, China is actually unleashing American teens on Congress. And American teens have no idea what a congressman is. I'm not kidding. This is absolutely insane. Now, the write-up on this is coming from Carissa Bell of Engadget. And I think this is an important one because overarchingly, this is something that I've talked about continuously on my radio show, podcast, video, you name it. Now, TikTok is stepping up its efforts to fight a new bill, and we'll talk about that shortly, that would basically force a ban of TikTok, uh, uh, the app specifically, in the United States. Now, the app has been alerting its millions of U.S. users about this measure, which would force ByteDance to sell TikTok in order for the app to remain available in U.S. app stores. Quote, TikTok is at risk of being shut down in the U.S., Call your representative now. That's according to a push notification they've been sending their users. Now, an in-app message then instructs users to, quote, speak up now before your government strips 170 million Americans of their constitutional right to free expression, end quote, which I think is kind of interesting because no platform guarantees a right of free expression whatsoever. That's that's the government that does that. So <clears throat> you have no right to free expression on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, as I'm sitting here, or SoundCloud, or the radio. Here we are. Now, they're also providing users a shortcut to dial the representative's office if they enter their zip code. Now, the push alerts are reportedly already having a dramatic effect. According to Politico, basically House staffers are reporting that their offices are being inundated with calls. One staffer said on X, quote, We're getting a lot of calls from high schoolers asking what a congressman is. Now, isn't that sad? I mean, honestly, I mean, take a civics course. I mean, I had to take them growing up. I think that's one of the big problems that we have right now is that we're just not teaching history. We're not teaching context or ethics for the record. But unfortunately for TikTok, their plan to stir up resistance, uh, you know, to the bill may not be having the intended effect. Quite frankly, I'm okay with that. The flood of calls may, uh, in fact, just be backfiring, according uh, to Beavers, who says the response may be increasing support for the bill among members of Congress. Now, in a post on X, Representative Mike Gallagher, who chairs the select committee that introduced the bill, said that the push notifications were, quote, interfering with the legislative process, end quote. Now, <clears throat> these alerts come amid growing support for the measure, which was introduced earlier this week by members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. On Thursday, the bill cleared its first legislative hurdle with a unanimous vote, 50 to 0, by members of that Energy and Commerce Committee to advance the measure. Now, President Biden, whose administration has also sought to force a divestiture of TikTok, is supportive of the bill as well. Now, according to Punchbowl News, previous bills to ban, the tic, uh, to ban TikTok have basically not had the backing of the White House. If passed, the bill would give TikTok about six months to separate itself from ByteDance or else the App Store ban would take effect, meaning it's going to be removed from the Apple Store, Apple App Store, and Google Play. For updates on that bill, let's turn to Reuters because like I said, there are 50 to 0 uh, essentially on that vote. <clears throat> it looks like it has the backing of uh, you know, President Biden. And for the record, um, this is basically uh, the most momentum that the U.S. has had against TikTok, which, again, has about 170 million users since the last big push uh, by uh, former President Donald Trump, who unsuccessfully tried to ban the app in 2020. <coughs> now, that said, I know that there are privacy advocacy groups like the ACLU, etc., that are against this, meaning they want TikTok up, they want TikTok running and all of that because you have a constitutional right to free expression. I completely understand that and I completely agree with the right to expression, but these are platforms that are not owned by the U.S. government. Therefore, they are not open town halls. In fact, TikTok, as I've mentioned time and again, has very deep ties to the Chinese government and essentially is prioritizing things like Chinese propaganda, you know, videos, uh, unlike uh, like videos that are that have no educational value, unlike how they prioritize those videos on their version of it, Douyin in China. Basically, the app is 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 essentially a surveillance app. First, I've I've talked about that ad nauseum here. I'm not going to go through that on this one. Go back and basically look at all of my past videos, audio, radio shows, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I think this needs to go. We have right now a huge problem in one of my previous podcast videos and radio segment, literally like the other day, I talked about China being a huge threat to intellectual property theft, you know, as they are stealing absolutely 
everything on the planet. The last one, uh, you know, obviously being, uh, you know, Tesla, Apple, Google just got hit the other day. So this is a huge problem. And TikTok, again, it, it, is, it is a surveillance app first. So I think it needs to go. I'm all for banning this. I'm all for free expression for the record. But again, the only thing that that guarantees is that you have free expression against the government and on government platforms that does not account for private, you know, organization. You can't walk into a, you know, a private anything and start talking the worst stuff horrible. You know, you can be kicked out and that is perfectly fine. Free speech is also not free from consequence. So we'll see what happens here, but I'm all for this. I think social media in general, not just TikTok, has pretty much been the ruin of society. And you would know that if you follow me for a while. So there you go. That is your news of the day. And hopefully TikTok's going to go away, but we'll see what happens. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And quite frankly, I'd love to see them go away as well, but still follow me until that happens. Same with YouTube. And as always, stay safe. Stay online and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everybody.